Hello, I'm Mike from musicradiocreative.com. In this video, I'll show you how to use the audio enhancement tools inside Adobe Premiere Rush CC. So here we are. Now, previously I recorded a voiceover on top of one of my video clips. I've also got a video clip over here of me speaking to camera. So now I'm gonna show you the real power of Adobe Premiere Rush CC for editing your audio. And not only can you do this on your desktop, but it also works across mobile devices, bringing the power of Adobe Audition straight into your hand, which is fantastic. So here's the voiceover I recorded. I tried to get the levels right by turning the volume of the ferry down in the background and turning the voiceover up in a previous video when I was recording my voiceover. Here I am on a White Lake ferry. Okay, that sounds good, but we could definitely do more to improve the sound of that voice. Well, Rush CC really makes this easy. Double click the voiceover here to bring up the audio panel, or you can simply click this audio icon here, and then whichever clip you have selected is the clip you'll be working with. So I'm going to be working on the voiceover first and foremost. Clip is at 100%. This is a clip volume slider, so 100% down to zero. You can choose to mute the clip if you like, then it goes gray, so you know it's uh, muted. Into the advanced, and we've got tons of stuff here. So it's automatically detected this as voice, but you can change, you can say it's music, you can say it's other, so you can do all that stuff. Auto volume is ticked. Balanced sound, which is also good. This will give you a balanced uh, sound. Here I am on a white link. And as you can hear, it's adding a little bit of compression to the audio. You might then want to turn the clip volume down a bit. Very leaving the Isle of Wight, heading. So it's doing automatic processes in the background, a bit of compression, maybe even a little bit of EQ in there. Reducing background noise we'll look at later because of course if I uh, go and uh, mute the other track you'll hear for the mainland in the United Kingdom. What a... Let's try and get rid of the... Here I am on a white link ferry leaving the Isle of We've currently got some, some background noise in there that cannot be removed. Um, I think because I was actually recording the background noise at the same time. So what I'm gonna do is re-record this voiceover without that background noise. Clicking this to cue me in. Here I am on a white link ferry leaving the Isle of Wight. Okay, I'll delete that other voiceover. Now you can see that's got the, uh, the voiceover without the background noise. Here I am on a white link ferry, leaving the Isle of Wight. Okay, and let's just make sure that uh, it recognizes it as voice, add a balanced sound here, let's do that. Here I am on a white link ferry, leaving. Nice increases there, no need to reduce background noise. We could reduce echo a little bit. I'm gonna move that down to 20% to make sure there's no reverberation from my room picked up. Here I am on a white link ferry, leaving the Isle of Wight. It does a great job, by the way, of reducing room echo, having that reduce echo ticked. But really, if it's a, a light echo, don't go above 20. The further you go, if I push it up to 100, a white link ferry, leaving the Isle of Wight. You can definitely hear it's reducing the quality of my audio. So 20, maybe I might even go for 15 to start with. Let's try that. Here I am on a white link ferry, leaving the Isle of Wight. And the final thing we can do is enhance speech. Just two settings here. Are you female or are you male? I'm male, so this is gonna add some EQ and some other bits to make my voice even better. Here I am on a white link ferry, leaving the Isle of Wight. That's with uh, enhanced speech male switched on. Let's switch it off again and listen. Here I am on a white link ferry, and then switch it back on again leaving the Isle of Wight. Kind of beefs up the voice, makes it sound better. Really good stuff going on in the background here inside Adobe Premiere Rush CC. Channels, very simple. Uh, do I want it on both left and right? Yes, I do. But if I wanted it for some reason outside the right channel, I can just uh, tick left to go silent. In the Isle of Wight. Now you can hear. Let's play that back. Here I am on a white link. Fer Only coming out the right channel. And again, I can do this. Here I am way. on a white Right channel. Link ferry. So you can change the channels that your audio is coming out. But really, that's a nicely processed voice. Finally, I'm going to unmute this, bring it back into context with the ferry Here sounds. I am on a white link ferry, leaving the Isle of Wight. So that's mixing in the voiceover I previously recorded and making it sound good. What if the voiceover is recorded on your camera, like this, for instance? HQ in London in the UK, and I'm going to the... Lots of wind, lots of rumble. Well, I did show you pretty much everything the audio tools in Adobe Premiere Rush can do, apart from reducing background noise. Let me just tick this, and at its mm, default of 50% here, let's listen to the job it does. You in London in the UK, and I'm going to their experience. Wow, that's a difference. Experience center today. Turn it off. 
turn it on. Uh, now what we can also do is we can add a balanced sound here. We can also enhance the speech from mail. Uh, let's go back and listen to some more. Hey, it's Mike from musicradiocreative.com. Today I'm leaving the Isle of Wight behind. We can turn this up, the intensity up, to do a further reduction. .com. Today I'm leaving the Isle of Wight behind. That's really good noise reduction. Listen to this. Creative.com. Today I'm leaving the Isle of Wight behind. And then we'll go back to with background noise. .com. Today I'm leaving the Isle of Wight. So as you can hear, Adobe Premiere Rush CC does amazing work on reducing background noise. Musicradiocreative.com. Today I'm leaving the Isle of Wight behind. To head to Harman HQ. Amazing stuff. And this is just with the tick of a box and the slide of a fader uh, up to 87%. It's all in percentages. It's so easy to set the audio editing features. There's no advanced knowledge required. You don't need to know EQ or compression ratios or anything like that. All of this is happening under the hood using the power of Adobe Audition, bringing it to your desktop, to your mobile devices. It really is cool. I'm thrilled with Adobe uh, Premiere Rush CC. I think it's just a fantastic. Fantastic piece of software, not only for video editing, but also audio editing on the fly as well. I hope you have fun with it, and let me know how you get on in the comments to this video.